Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got part two of my two part charity shop haul. I couldn't remember what I was doing. I nearly said next, right? It's not. It's a charity shop slash thrift chaza shop haul. So let's get cracking. Me falling over my words. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. I've got my eyes on the prize, right? That once I've tried all these lovely clothes on that I'm showing you, I'm going to go out for a really nice walk into the uh, village near to where I live. And uh, yeah, just have a nice look around the park, walk around, get myself a... If I can't get myself a coffee, I'm going to get myself like a fizzy pop or something and just have a right nice walk around. So yeah, I'm excited because it's my day off today. Um, right here, so I'm going to show you all the things that I got that are not clothes first and then I'll show you the clothes. Okay, I've realised that I've forgotten to get some out, just one minute. Okay, let me grab the things that are not clothes first. Okay, dokie, right. So I bought this ball of wool. This is from Animal Rescue, it's called. Um, I'm sorry my phone keeps pinging, right? It's people messaging, I don't know. I think it's probably the group chat from work, but anyway, right. So this is from Animal Rescue and they sell all this brand new wool, okay. And I wanted this bright green double knitting because I'm making Christmas tree decorations, which are these little mittens. So I'm making pairs of little mittens like these that are just going to have like a string between them that you can just hook over your um, branches on your Christmas tree. They're just tiny wee mittens and I thought they were dead cute. The pattern is actually a chunky knit pattern that I just bought online um, and printed it off at work, you know. Um, but I'm knitting it up in double knitting in order to make them smaller um, so that they look really cute. So I'm basically making pairs of mittens. And because my colours are my tree, I'm not changing the colours of my tree anymore. I'm just sticking with what I've got because I love my decorations so much now. My colours are red and green and white, very traditional. So I had some red wool, I had white wool, but I didn't have any green. So I bought this ball of green wool, which were two pounds, right, for a massive, it's 100 grams, is it? It will be, it'll be 100 grams. Um, so I can make loads of these. It only takes me like, what, half an hour to knit up a pair of these. So um, that's what I'm doing with some of my time. I'll show you, right, once I've got a few pairs, and it's nearer to Christmas, I'll show you. Um, right, so yeah. So I just wanted some green yarn, wool, so I could make some more of these little gloves, but in green colour. That looks like it's got a little dot on it. Oh no, it's just where I've stitched it. Right here, so that's my first thing. It's brand new, but it came from a charity shop called Animal Rescue. Okay, then about a couple of books for the kiddies. Right here, so this is the first one. It's another one of these Usborne books, that's not my. And in this case, it's that's not my tractor. It's engines too bumpy and so on and so forth. It's a touchy-feely book. It's funnel is too smooth. It's wheels are too squishy and so on and so forth. To the end one and then it says, that's my tractor. It's headlamps are so shiny. So I just bought that. I got it from... Uh, the Children's Society bookshop and it was £1.49 so fabulous I'll take that into work tomorrow when I go I'm excited for kiddies to have these you know so there's that one and then I got this one which I think I want to keep for Bonnie right okay because if I'm honest it's in new conditions that sound bad it probably sounds bad but um when I take them into nursery, they don't last that long because lots of babies' hands are on them. Um, so this one probably won't last if I take it in. So anyway, I just thought I'd keep this one for Bonnie because it's brand new, right? So it's uh, Dear Zoo. I absolutely love Dear Zoo, right? I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me a elephant. He was too big, so I sent him back. And so on, it goes all the way through we lift the flaps for all of these and then it gets to the end and so they thought very hard and sent me a, oh my goodness, can I even lift it? It's the bottom, Kim. A puppy, he was perfect, so I kept him. Right, so that cost me £1.99 from the Children's Society bookshop, but I think I'm going to keep it for bonbons. <laughs> right. Little Bonnie Roo and give it to her. 
I rarely keep anything from charity shops for her, um, but I thought I'll give her this one. You know what I mean? Because I thought that'll last five minutes in nursery, whereas if there's only one child handling it, it'll probably last a wee bit longer. So yeah, I'm gonna give that to Bonnie. So that's that. Right here, um, oh, that's my receipt from it. Next up, I bought myself a book, which I started reading, right? So I'm about, what page am I on? Page 20. Okay, it's called No One Saw a Thing. It's about two little girls who get on a train, the door's shut, and the mother's left behind, well, on underground, the mother's left behind on a platform, and so, and the two girls travel off to the next station. I'm not, I'm not spoiling it for anybody. This is what's on the blurb, right? Um, and the door, and when the mum gets to the next uh, station along, because they say they found her daughter, she gets there, there is only one child, the other one is gone, right? And nobody seems to know where the child is. So it's that's basically the premise of it. It's by Andrea Mara, and I just thought it sounded really interesting. So um, currently reading that one, it was one ninety nine from the Children's Society Bookshop, where I tend to get a lot of books. Um, so I'm excited for reading the rest of it. Might read a bit of that tonight. I love reading on an evening, right? It makes me really sleepy, you know what I mean? So I don't usually get very far through the book without I'm nodding. <laughs> oh, so, um, yeah, so it's going to take me quite a while to get through this, particularly because I'm squinting to see anything at the moment, even when my gig's on. So um, hence why I'm going to go and get my eyes done. You know, I've got to, I've got to. It's getting past the point of silly now. So, yeah, it's spoiling me enjoyment of books. Okay, right, so there's that one anyway. Right, yo, then I bought two handbags. They're both brand new, but they're bought from charity shops. So I bought this one today. This was 3 99 from Age UK, but it's brand new, right? It's still got the paper around it here. And it is just like a little burgundy crossbody bag. But do you know, I thought it'd be great for the autumn. Um, yeah, absolutely great. So, um, really excited to use that one. It is literally empty. Got no pockets or anything in. Has it got any at all? Oh, it's got one wee pocket here with a little sachet thing in it. And it's got a zipped pocket on the back. But aside from that, nothing, which is fine. It's a perfect size for me. And we'll make it into a crossbody. I'll extend that um strap so it goes all the way around me and it'll be perfect i just thought it'd be lovely for this time of year it's just a pvc one you know and was 3.99 but i just thought it was lovely i love the color of it so i'm excited to start using that one i'm going to alternate between this my green one that i showed you in part one and this next bag okay so this is the next bag this is also brand new right still got tissue around all the metal detailing and it's uh, real leather, um, and it was only four ninety nine from the from Age UK, but it's brand new. It's absolutely lovely. It's a bit bigger than the other bag that I've got, but um, or the other bags that I've got. But I just thought it was really pretty. Just really liked it. It's another one that you could extend to be a crossbody one, which is what I will do. But I just thought it was really, really nice. What's it sound from? Lorenz? Lorenz? I don't know. But I thought it was lovely. Um, so, yeah. And there are times where only a black bag will go with me outfit. So, this is going to be that black bag because I bought one. Oh, not that long ago. A bag that had flowers on it and things. But the handle just were on its last legs and it sort of snapped. So that bag has had to go. Do you know what I mean? There were no repairing it because it was like a string covered in sort of the plastic stuff. Once it had snapped, I knew, even if I'd sewn it together, one, it had looked dreadful, the handle stitched together, and two, it wouldn't lasted any time. So, um, yeah, so when I were in, I bought these two bags. So absolutely love that one, really love it. Um, so, yeah, those are my two handbags. I thought that was a, honestly a right bargain for four ninety nine. dollars I had to get the woman to check the price when I went to it till because it, it was so blurred. I thought, does it say four ninety nine or $14.99? I mean, right. So she had to check it for me. But um, yeah, when I saw it for $4.99, I bought it straight away. Absolutely love that one. So I've now got three amazing bags, um, all brand new, but all from charity shops that are just going to see me for ages now. Really excited about them. Just grabbing my clothes. But I also got this. This £1.49. I thought it would be brilliant to take into work. 
it's just a wee caterpillar look at it how cute is that it's just on a string or like an elastic thing can you see and all these beads are on it so it twists and what have you i just thought that'd be fabulous to take into work really really nice if it's no good for baby room i'll put it in toddlers but um yeah i just thought it were amazing really really sweet little wooden caterpillar so yeah love it love all little colors on it as well so there's that one okay and then these are my clothes right i bought this shirt this is a brand new shirt and it was from the Children's Society, but I paid $4.99 for it. Right. Ex uh, what did I? He know. Right. This was the day that I went into the Children's Society and everything was £2. So I actually got this for £2. So it's a George shirt, originally £12.50. It's got um, sort of a three-quarter sleeve with elastic round, a little bit of elastic anyway. It's got this low sort of scoop neck and these big buttons going down and it sort of flares out. I just saw it was lovely. And I swear everything was £2 when I went in on this particular day. So I got this one on that day. Really, really nice. This is the one that's like in the local town, not just on the road from me. Um, so I got that one on that day. And I also got this one on the same day. Is this the one I got? Yep, this is it, right. So this has got like a round neck at the front, higher at the back with this sort of hole and tie detail. It's originally from Peruna, and it was originally going to be $12.99, no, $2.99, I paid £2 for it. So it's got like um, a fluttery sleeve on it, short, but two layers of a fluttery sleeve. And it's in this bright jazzy pattern, which I love, absolutely love. And it's just straight down the front. It's in a size 12, so it might be a bit hit and miss whether it's actually going to fit me. But I thought for £2, it's worth a try, you know what I mean? So, yeah, fabulous. Absolutely love it. Love where it's from as well. Love all this pattern. It's got birds on and everything. Really, really pretty. I love that one. And then I bought this one. Um, but I bought this full price this is the next one and i paid 4.99 for this one this is just like um open at the front it's got this tie detail though so you could close it it's vaguely see-through all right it is vaguely see-through i don't know if you can actually see through it can you anyway it is right it's got short sleeves um that are sort of cut at um an angle you know what is it like a raglan sleeve but they're in this flutter style and then it's just like a pull-on shirt no buttons or anything just sort of a pull-on one it's got gathers at the back of the neck so that it flares out and gathers at the front so yeah absolutely loved it thought it were really pretty wish i'd got that one for two pounds as well but I didn't right um, I bought this one at a different children's site. Actually, they had um, a sale on at the Age UK along the road today. Um, so I had a really nice look, but I couldn't get anything that was sort of marked as in the sale. But um, yeah, got that one anyway. Love it. And then I bought this today because I thought it'd be brilliant for taking me into the autumn. Now, it's only originally from um, Primark, right? So it's not like, you know, from anywhere flash. But it, I just love the colour. It was three ninety nine. I got it from Age UK. Like I say, they had loads of stuff in sale, but I couldn't find anything. So it's got these wee sleeves, right? But it's massively oversized cardigan. No buttons or anything down the front. And it's got sort of a gathered neck. Do you know what I mean? So you sort of, you either fold it over like so, or it slouches down. But I just thought it'd be really nice for taking me into the autumn because i just love that burgundy color it's got two patch pockets as well on the fronts so yeah absolutely love it it's super super long it says it's a size 14 yeah size 14 so lovely absolutely lovely it doesn't feel like it's it feels like it's barely been worn you know but I just thought it'd be great to take me into the autumn. And I thought it'd be great with my burgundy bag as well. So really excited um, to try that on. That and the burgundy bag are what I bought today. So um, yeah, very, very excited. 3 99 So I didn't think that were too bad. I know it probably were only about a tenner in, initially from 
Primark, but it's still a bargain, isn't it, at $3.99. So, yeah, lovely. Looks like it's barely been worn. It really does. So, excited to try them all on. Please let them all fit me, including the 12s. Anyway, I'll go away and I'll try them on. I'll insert the try-ons now, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, black blouse number one, or blouse number one. It's too tight across my back. Oh, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted, because I really liked it. It's just too tight across my back, it really is. It feels like it's pulling. I would never want to put my arms forward because of that pulling. Even when I don't put my arms forward and I just slightly move my arms, I can feel it pulling. Um, so sadly, this one's a no from me. Um, this will be going back to charity shop or I'll be giving it to our rose to sell them vintage, do you know what I mean? Right, oh it's really sad because I did really like it. I realise now why it's been done it. It is quite on the small side. Um, either that or I'm just deluding myself about what size I am, I'm not sure but anyway. Um, yeah, this one's a no from me. It just, I would never pull this out and be happy to wear it. Just because it does feel too tight. It... <laughs> Even picking my hair up to show you the back then pulled. Right, so this is an out and out no. That's really sad. But never mind. Um, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna undo it at the front rather than pull it over me because I'm frightened I split it. Right, yo. I'm gonna try something else on. Okay, this fits. Um, but what are we thinking? Uh, I think I like it, you know. Not with navy blue trousers. Not with navy blue, but with black. I think it'd look really nice. How are we feeling about it? Does it look awful? Does it look all right? Let me show you the back. Yeah, what do we think? I'm not convinced about it. I'm really not. Um, yeah, it fits fine. If there's not loads of room around the front. There's enough, you know what I mean? But, um, I mean, it's not massively oversized on me or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I do like it. Really like it, actually. It's just whether it looks all right on me. That's the question. But I think it's a really nice shirt. And at a bargain price of only £2. And given that the other one that I've just tried on that doesn't fit were only £2, I'm not mad about that. Because I didn't pay a great deal for either, you know. So, uh, yeah. Need some advice on this one, not sure. What do we think? It's a pretty blouse, but whether it looks all right on me is anyone's guess. I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. Um, right, I'm gonna try the other shirt on and then I'm gonna try my cardi on. I'm really excited for cardi. Okay, this is it fastened. How do we feel? I really like it. I'm not gonna lie about it. I really, really like it. Am I being silly? Right, oh, I absolutely love this one. I would definitely like wearing it, and I like it with a navy. Okay, has it got any black in it? No, it needs to be with navy, but I really like it, you know. I don't mind that it's slightly see-through either. Um, it, You know, it don't bother me because I don't think, I think the pattern is so jazzy that it's not immediately obvious that it's see-through. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing a nude bralette at the moment. And, I love it. I really, really like it. This is my favourite out of the three that I've tried on so far. Um, because it fits better than the others. And I'm convinced that I actually like this. Whereas I wasn't with the last one. You know, I'll show you the back. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, this is a keeper for me. Absolutely love this one. Really, really love it. I love how thin it is as well, and you could like layer things over the top. Speaking of which, let's try the cardi. I know the cardigan doesn't go with the colour. It absolutely does not go with the colour. But let's try this on anyway. Um, where's the top? Let's have a look, see, shall we? Oh, I love the cardi and all. Absolutely love it. The sleeves are incredibly small compared to the body part of it. Can you see, right? But they're not so tight that they're like bothering me arm, my nerve damage on me arm. It's super long. This would be something I would pull out, this cardigan, when it's cold weather and just sitting. 
you know, like sometimes I pull out a cardigan instead of a dressing gown, you know, and just pull it round me. And I love it. Oh, I really like my cardigan. I mean, the uh, pockets are so, slow, uh, so low down, I can barely get my hands in them. But I probably won't be using my pockets anyway. They're just there for detailing. I absolutely love both of these. Really love the cardigan, especially for the autumn. Absolutely love it. And really love this shirt. Not necessarily together, but I absolutely love both of these. And that has made my mind up that the first two, I think I'm not bothered about. I think I'll probably either redraw it and we'll see whether Rose wants to sell them on vintage. You know, they were only £2 a piece to me, so... If she gets a pound back, who cares? You know, it's more more than she has now. So, uh, yeah, I think... Well, that's to sound awful. That makes me sort of sound like she's penniless. I don't mean that. I just mean if she can get a bit of money, then great. Um, so, yeah, absolutely love both of these. And I think the other two I'm going to pass on. Um, but anyway, those are all my things. Well chuffed with these two, though. Well chuffed. But if you've got any advice or anything, or have got any views on that second shirt, the first one's a non-star because it just don't fit. But if anybody's got any sort of advice on the second one, that might be helpful. Because at the moment, I don't think I'm that bothered by it. But um, I haven't seen the footage either. Or heard everybody's helpful advice. But anyway, I'm going to hand you back. Okay, so I'm not sure about the first two. I'm really not sure. Well, the first one's an absolute non-starter because it's way too small for me. Um, the second one, I'm like that about, and I'll wait to see what everybody says. But I, I absolutely love the second, the third blouse, sorry, and my cardigan. And I think the cardigan is going to make some really nice autumn outfits going forward. I'm going to do a video or a couple of videos um, sort of in this weekend coming, um, I'll film them so that they'll be coming up very soon. Um, one where I'm sort of, uh, I need to make one video, definitely. So this is three videos I'm making this weekend. One is where I'm shortening trousers and tops and things to make them more my style. Um, and the other two videos I'm wanting to do are some styling videos of my um, wardrobe rather than buying new pieces of my wardrobe with um, the, sort of going into the autumn. So some outfits that I've pulled out of the, the existing clothes um, that will make it sort of aut more autumnal outfits, you know, um, because I've got plenty of clothes. I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need to buy all else. But I think that cardigan is gonna be lovely. Um, to sort of make more autumnal outfits out of, just because it's a really pretty sort of burgundy colour. And that's, in my mind, burgundies and browns, sort of tan colours, are autumn all over, you know what I mean? Maybe an olive green colour as well. Somebody I've seen on somebody else's video said, oh, olive green's in for this autumn. I've got loads of olive green, so more than happy about that. But anyway, that's everything for today. Please give me some advice on the shirts, you know what I mean? If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!